Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of A Taste of the Food Life. Thank you so much for joining me here as I continue my food tasting journey here on the show. Joining me again is Jen. Jen, you love chocolate. I do. I and like chocolate. We have done chocolate tasting episodes on the show before. We have. And we're about to again. Woohoo! I was recently in Springfield, Missouri. That sounds familiar. And amidst the many food related things that I did, uh, I found a chocolate shop. Yay! It started with actually going to a Peruvian restaurant there in Springfield and having some Askinosi hot chocolate as part of my dessert, Askinosi being the brand uh, where the chocolate came from that was used in that hot chocolate. And so the next day I had an opportunity to visit Askinosi Chocolates and I got to tell you, uh, they're pretty amazing. And I'm so excited. I brought you some chocolate. Let's do it! Indeed, there are three uh, types of chocolate that we're going to try. Uh, they are a factory there in Springfield that basically goes from bean to bar, as they say, uh, in creating unique chocolate flavors. They work with local proprietors and also, I believe, international proprietors as well to put together different versions of chocolate bars and so forth uh, based on uh, their uh, chocolate. And so today, we're going to start... The first thing I want you to notice is the beautiful packaging that Askinosi uses. Uh, this is a dark chocolate, 72% dark chocolate, that <laughs> I know you're excited about. Uh, and in addition to that, we're going to try a dark chocolate and dark milk chocolate mm -hmm. and black licorice. Now, I have feelings about licorice. I also have feelings about licorice. Okay, well, when we get to that, we'll talk about that because I just couldn't pass up the chance to try that flavor. And we'll talk about why. And then we'll end on a 60% dark chocolate peanut butter because we like chocolate there peanut butter. There is a 100% chance of us liking that one. Oh yeah, absolutely. So let's see. Let's we'll, do it. We'll start with the dark chocolate. And again, just beautifully packaged, very thoughtful in terms of how they produce uh, their uh, bars. Uh, they do tours. Uh, they will be starting those back up in 2022. Uh, darn you, pandemic. Um, but once the Panda Wheel is over, then we'll be able to uh, hopefully go back and do a tour. Uh, look at this. Aw, it's pretty. It literally, the bar says, Askinosi chocolate. I'm going to scroll it up. Ooh. Isn't that beautiful? Long ago in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> That's awesome. That looks really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, and now that I've touched it all, yeah, we're married. <laughs> it's okay. So <laughs> we've shared germs. There you go. I get the A. He gets the S. Where's I get a the corner. other S. Oh. <laughs> get here. <it>. Nah. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Dark chocolate. Wait, why did you get a smaller piece? Because I'm gonna eat more than you. Oh. Off. Off camera. Mm, nom, nom, nom. I think he's realizing that it wasn't really that he didn't like dark chocolate. I just had to find the right one. Mm -hmm. That's two now. That's Did rich. Too? That's rich. Mm -hmm. And it's pleasantly bitter. I can certainly see that turning into a um, hot chocolate of some sort. Uh, perhaps use an emole. You can use that in emole. Um, and other things. Okie dokie. That's delicious. Yum. Your thoughts? It's yummy. Yeah. Woman of many words. I'm still trying to process. <laughs> because it was that good? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's good. yummy. Well, that's good. It's still like lingering. I'm still enjoying the, the flavor. Yeah. I, th I think you're still enjoying it more than me because, again, you've been a fan of dark chocolate for quite a long mm -hmm. time. Um, There's this beautiful thing. This is the dark chocolate and licorice. The dark milk chocolate and licorice. And let me explain. I don't like licorice. Can't stand it. But Kevin, the gentleman who I was speaking to at Askinosi, this was one of the flavors that he had me try. And I think it was because when he said black licorice, I went... And so he's like, wait, hold on. Check it out. So you've tried this before? Yes, because I would never bring you anything that I haven't tried before, um, unless it was because we, you know, focus. So we're gonna go ahead and try this. 
Um, I want to smell like Christmas. And I'll be honest, I have not tried the next one. This one I had, and it's because of the reaction I had that I wanted you to taste it. Okay, so. Can you cut that in half? No, you can bite it and then hand it back to me. So. And is this like anise on the back or something? I don't know. Because that's what licorice is made of. Okay, well, show off. Here we go. <laughs> I don't know why I like it. Well, I like it because it's delicious. And you don't feel the same way. It's not my favorite. <laughs> um, it's not ew, black licorice like my Nana used to have all the time and she used to always be really excited on Halloween when I would bring home black lic licorice because I would need it and she was like, ooh, yes, give me. Um, <laughs> This is a completely different because it looks like it has the, the actual spice. Yep. Show, can you show? I know you already showed it, but you can see. No, the back. The, okay. the, the actual spice appears to be on the bar. Yeah. Um, and so maybe that's partially it. Um, maybe it's because it's dark chocolate mixed with it. And I like the chocolate, but maybe not the licorice. No. Um, I like it because. I mean, I'm sitting here licking my hand, but. Yeah because it's dirty. I think I like it because I, I, I'm so averse to licorice that when I tasted it against the, pal the, the background of the chocolate, yeah. it was really, really appealing. And I still mm -hmm. like it. And, um, but hey. Yeah, the licorice is definitely offset by the chocolate. Um, I don't know if I would recommend it to people who don't like licorice, though. I would. Oh, he would. Give so, it a try. You never know. Give it a try. You don't know. Yep. All right, the last one, which should be a home run, is the 60% dark chocolate and peanut butter. And um, we like chocolate and peanut butter. Mm -hmm. That is a combo we are usually happy with. Mm -hmm. They just look so beautiful. Really does. Yeah, it opens All right. All right, here we go. Why are you splitting that one? Because you said to try. Rude. Here we go. And to look at it, you really can't tell that there's peanut butter. To taste it, you really can't to tell. <laughs> to taste I it, still like it. You really can't tell but that there's peanut butter. I don't... Mm. It's delicious. Hmm. This is interesting. Hmm. I don't get peanut butter. Mm -mm. But again... It's still delightful. It's delicious. So, I'll still recommend them. Okay. If you are in Springfield, Missouri, um, check out Eskinosi Chocolates. They are on, um, in town. And you can find them <laughs> online. <laughs> I'll uh, leave the address information in the information portion of the YouTube um, video. So make sure you check them out. And uh, I hope to have Eskinosi visit the show. And they can talk to us more about these unique flavors mm -hmm. and the unique story behind this amazing place. Well, as always, I thank you for uh, going on these journeys with me when you are able to. And uh, we thank you for joining us here at A Taste of the Food Life. It's been so much fun and it will continue to be even more fun as we continue to do these kinds of things. So thank you so much for being here with us. Don't forget, click subscribe if you haven't already. And also click that notification bell so you know when episodes land over the next several weeks, months, or however long we do this. Uh, I say we, but it's like me and so the, royal we. the royal we. Yeah. It's the royal we. All right. Well, with that said, remember the most important thing we always tell you, and that is you're awesome. You're amazing. And the world's a better place because you are in it. We'll see you next time on A Taste of the Food Life.